Hajatır Nasr. If I had shorts, I would have just jumped up on the stage, but I can't do that wearing this. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, today is the last Friday in the holy month of Ramadan. We're all fasting, and this holy month is coming to a conclusion. In 1979, the late Imam Khomeini, peace be upon him, he designated the last Friday of this month to be International Quds Day, a day in which we stand by success, a day in which we stand side by side, Muslims and non-Muslims, and we express our solidarity with the oppressed Palestinian people. Today, this Quds Day is especially important because it coincides with the brutal attacks of the Israeli regime on the people of Gaza. Over 800 innocent people have been killed. Over 5,000 innocent civilians have been injured. Even if one Palestinian were to be killed, we would still be protesting today. Because the Holy Quran teaches us that to kill one innocent human being is equivalent to killing all of humanity. And to save one human being, it is equivalent to saving all of humanity. So we are here to save humanity. We are here. We are here to educate the American people about the atrocities that are being committed. I grew up in this country, I was educated in this country, and I don't want my country to support a regime that kills innocent people. I don't want my country to support the bloodshed of innocent women and children. Brothers and sisters, do you know that our government sends over three $3 billion a year to aid Israel? Do you know that? That's coming out of our pockets. Our tax dollars are going to support the annihilation and the genocide of innocent people. We have to speak up. This is our money. This is coming, on, uh, this is coming out of our pockets. Now, we also have to remember that the American people are also oppressed. There are different types of oppression. The American people are oppressed because they're not getting the real story. The media constantly distorts and does not objectively report what is happening in the world. It often portrays Israel, the Zionist state, as the victim. They are always using the victim card. But if you look at the polls, the death polls, it will be very clear to you who is the transgressor and who is the victim. Over 800 have been killed and they die every day. We look at these as numbers. 800 is a number, but there is a name. These are 800 human beings who have families, who have relatives. We have to be aware of that. We have to be conscious of that. The Palestinian and the Israeli conflict is not a religious conflict. This is not a conflict between Jews and Muslims. We have to remember that. Because the Zionist state of Israel does not represent Judaism. In fact, we have many Jews who stand and who are very vocal in their opposition. This conflict is not about religion. <laughs> International Quds Day has become a symbol, it's become an icon. Where people stand up against oppression everywhere around the world. Today, we have the terrorist group ISIS destroying Iraq. This terrorist group known as the Islamic State of, of Iraq and Syria, they are wreaking havoc in northern Iraq. They're killing Muslims, they're killing Christians, they're killing Shias, they're killing anyone who differs 
with them. They're destroying churches. Just recently, they destroyed the shrine of Prophet Yunus. They are wreaking havoc in Iraq. And just as Zionism does not equal Judaism, ISIS does not represent Sunni Islam. So today, in addition to condemning Israel for their atrocities against humanity. Today we also condemn Saudi Arabia. We hold them responsible. We condemn Qatar. Because they are the ones who are openly supporting ISIS. They are funding them. Instead of using their tremendous wealth to build schools and hospitals, they're spending their wealth to basically have Muslims kill one another. We have to condemn them. And you know the weapons that we see on TV, the weapons that these terrorists carry? I'm sorry to say this, but the reality is our country, our government sells billions of dollars of weapons to Saudi Arabia every year. So indirectly, our government is funding the terrorism and we have to speak out against that. Many of us were born in this country I plan on staying in this country. I plan on raising children in this country. I don't want my country to support terrorism. I want my country to be the moral compass of the world. I want to be part of an America that eradicates injustice, that eradicates genocide. I don't want to be part of a country that contributes to it. So today, we ask God Almighty to help the oppressed people of Palestine, the oppressed people of Iraq, of Syria, of all places around the world. And we ask him to also crush the oppressors. God, he crushed, Moses, he crushed Pharaoh during the time of Moses. And we ask him to also crush the Pharaohs of our time. I thank you all for joining us today. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.